1번 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, students. This is your principal, Ms. Perez. I have an important announcement about our indoor gym. Since its opening, it has been a popular destination for students who'd like to stay fit. However, the gym has been in use for more than 10 years, and most sports equipment is now outdated. So, our school has decided to renovate the gym. This means the gym will be temporarily closed until further notice. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. Please check our school website for updates on the reopening of the gym. Thank you for your understanding. 2번 대화를 듣고 남자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Grace, did you finish preparing for your hiking trip tomorrow? Almost, Dad. I still don't know which jacket I should wear. When you choose your hiking jacket, make sure you consider the color. How about this brown one? It looks good on me. That does suit you well. But I think you should avoid brown. Why is that? For the sake of your safety. You need to wear a color that stands out from the surroundings. It allows you to be seen easily by others. You mean I should avoid colors that blend in with nature, like browns and greens? Exactly. Safety should always come first. Then I'll go with this bright orange jacket. 3번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hello, Mia Parsons speaking. Hello, I was told to call you this afternoon. All right, can I have your name, please? I'm Jonathan Lee. Just a second. Oh, Mr. Lee. I have good news for you. I was able to fix your issue. That's a relief. The photos on my laptop are precious to me. By the way, what caused the problem? The main board was damaged, so I've replaced it with a new one. That's great. Can I get my laptop sent via a delivery service? Sure. Please give me your address. It's 11367 White Street, Sandville. Okay, you can get it by Tuesday. Thank you so much. If you send me the bill, I'll pay it right away. 4번 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hi, Lucia. Welcome back. How was your vacation? Hi, Andrew. It was great. We rented a guest house. Oh, do you have a picture of it? Yes, look. I chose a sky-themed room for my kids. Wow. The model airplane hanging from the ceiling looks cool. Yeah, and kids never stopped going up and down the slide under the model airplane. I can imagine. This star-shaped lamp on the table goes well with the theme. Isn't the astronaut doll on the bed cute? It was a gift from the guest house. It is. Your kids must have loved the picture of the space shuttle beside the bed. They did. I really recommend this place for your next family trip. Thanks. I should visit there next time. 
5번 대화를 듣고 남자가 여자를 위해 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Dad, our printer is not working again. Really? What do you need to print out? I need a copy of my essay for tomorrow's English class. Okay. Will you pass me the user's manual? Let me take a look. I already did everything it says in the manual. Nothing helped. Then I can take the printer to the service center on my way out. It might take more than a day to fix it. We'd better think of another way. Hmm. Then how about going to the city library? You can use the printers there. Oh, that'd be great. But I have never been there. Don't worry. I'll take you there. Thanks, Dad. Let's go to the library. Six. 번 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Honey, we need four extra cups for our housewarming party. Okay, let's buy them online. Look, I love this floral teacup. I like it too, and it only costs eight dollars. Hold on, the store's promotion says. Buy one cup, get one cup free. Fantastic! We only have to pay for two cups. Then we can afford to buy a new teapot as well. That's a good idea. Let's buy one that matches the teacups. I like the white one that costs twenty dollars. Okay, let's pay for two teacups and one teapot. Do we also have to pay for shipping? Yes. The total shipping fee is three dollars. Do we need anything else? Not really. Let me pay with my credit card. Seven. 번 대화를 듣고. 남자가 내일 봉사 활동에 같이 갈수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Michael, what do you think about doing some volunteer work tomorrow? Well, I thought we're going to join a sports program tomorrow. You haven't heard? It's been cancelled. Oh, then tell me more about the volunteer work. We'll pick up meals at the community center. And then deliver them to the elderly in the neighborhood. Hmm. When does it end? I'm having a family dinner. Before noon, we'll be working for three hours in the morning. Sounds good. Are there any restrictions for applicants? Yes, you have to be 16 or older to participate. Then I'm qualified. I just turned 16 last February. Oh. I almost forgot. You also need a flu vaccination record since you'll meet the elderly in person. I haven't got a flu shot yet. I'm afraid I can't come. Too bad. Maybe next time then. Eight. 번 대화를 듣고 나리 아일랜드 패키지 여행에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Hi Jessica, are you ready for the trip to Nari Island? Not yet. I've been too busy to make a detailed plan. Then how about booking a package tour? There should be some package tours on the island. Really? Let me check online. This one runs for five days, from April 3rd to April 7th. It matches my holiday schedule. It provides a guided tour to beautiful caves and cliffs. I think I'd enjoy it. I like to explore geological sites. And a minivan will be offered for transportation. It sounds convenient. What do you think of the price? 
I think six hundred dollars for each person is quite reasonable. Perfect. I'll book it right away. Coupon. After school, mass festival에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Good morning, math lovers of Hamilton High School. I'm your math teacher, Alan Stewart. We have a special announcement for you. The after-school math festival will be held for three days, starting next Monday. Nine activities are planned, and you may participate in up to three different activities. Keep in mind that activities such as the math escape room. And the math quiz show will take longer than other activities. This year, we are also offering a guest lecture. Our lecturer, Dr. Hilbert, will tell us the stories behind famous mathematicians. Students who attend this special lecture will get a copy of his book for free. Lastly, during the festival, special snacks and drinks. Will be served at the cafeteria. See you there. Ten. 번다음표를보면서대화를듣고두사람이구매할자외선칫솔소독기를고르시오 Honey. Why don't we buy a UV toothbrush sanitizer? This online store is offering a good deal. That's great. How about choosing one from these five models? Fine. First, we need to consider the number of slots. For our family, we need four or more slots. Right. Do you think we need one with a built-in battery? Yes, it'd be easier to install. Okay, and I think it's important to keep the brushes dry. I agree. It prevents bacteria from growing on the brushes. We should definitely go with one that has a drying function. That leaves us with these two models. How about staying under fifty dollars? Good. Let's order the cheaper one. 11번대화를듣고여자의마지막말에대한남자의응답으로가장적절한것을고르시오 Ben, would you come take a look at this plant? The leaves are turning brown. Let me see. Oh, you might have watered it too much. Do you have any idea how I can fix my plant? 12번대화를듣고남자의마지막말에대한여자의응답으로가장적절한것을고르시오 Ouch! I got a paper cut. Are you okay? I know how painful paper cuts are. This is the third time this week. Maybe my hands are so dry that I get paper cuts too easily. 13번대화를듣고여자의마지막말에대한남자의응답으로가장적절한것을고르시오 Hey Pete, what's in the big box? Old towels and blankets. I'm taking them to the post office. Where are you sending them? To an animal shelter. The shelter needs them for dogs and cats. I guess it's to keep the animals warm. Exactly. Without them, the animals have to sleep on the cold floor. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Many animal shelters are in need of blankets and towels. Then, what about starting a school campaign to collect blankets and towels for the animals? That'd be nice. But how can we do that? We can propose a campaign at the student council meeting tomorrow. Hello, Ms. Watson. Did you enjoy the conference? Yes, I did, Dr. Cooper. This year was a huge success. Congratulations. Thank you. We had the largest audience ever. I heard some people couldn't come because the number of seats was limited. It was a pity that we couldn't find a larger lecture hall. I think there is a way to accommodate more people next year. Really? How? You can hold the conference on a metaverse platform. What does metaverse mean? It's a virtual world. If you make a lecture hall there, you can interact with a larger audience. That's very interesting. I'd like to try that, but I don't know how to start. Jane and David are both violinists in the school orchestra. They have been practicing together for a month for the spring concert. Just three days before the concert, Jane sprains her wrist, and her doctor recommends taking a rest for at least a week. Since Jane cannot play at the concert, David should take her solo part. They have been practicing together, and David knows Jane's part. However, David says that he is too nervous to play the solo part. Jane knows that David is a skilled violinist. So Jane wants to encourage David to be more confident. In this situation, what would Jane most likely say to David? 16번부터 17번은 두번 들려줍니다. 16번과 17번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Good afternoon, students. Today we are going to talk about different national flags. There are some colors commonly used in national flags. The most common color is red, which makes up about 30% of all colors used in national flags. Usually, red means life, courage, and revolution. For example, the red stripes of the United States national flag symbolize the struggle for independence. The next is blue, with about a 20% share. The color often symbolizes the natural element of water or sky. For example, the blue in Greece's national flag means the sea surrounding the country. The next two most common colors are white and green. In some countries' flags, white means peace and honesty, such as in the United Kingdom's flag. Green is often related to nature, such as grasslands and forests. Can you guess what the green in Brazil's national flag means? Of course, it's the Amazon rainforest. Now, let's look at the shapes of national flags. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Good afternoon, students. Today we are going to talk about different national flags. 
There are some colors commonly used in national flags. The most common color is red, which makes up about 30% of all colors used in national flags. Usually, red means life, courage, and revolution. For example, the red stripes of the United States national flag symbolize the struggle for independence. The next is blue, with about a 20% share. The color often symbolizes the natural element of water or sky. For example, the blue in Greece's national flag means the sea surrounding the country. The next two most common colors are white and green. In some countries' flags, white means peace and honesty, such as in the United Kingdom's flag. Green is often related to nature. Such as grasslands and forests. Can you guess what the green in Brazil's national flag means? Of course, it's the Amazon rainforest. Now, let's look at the shapes of national flags. 16. 번 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은?